but it's side by side. Two cars staging to a, a what we call a Christmas tree. And when it comes down, all hell breaks loose. Uh, who gets off the line first is critical. Negotiating it down the lane, it can smoke the tires. It can, it can uh, wheel stand with the front end up in the air. So many things can happen, but there's tire smoke from the burnouts uh, that you prepare the car right before you run. And sometimes it smokes the tires on the run. And then it's getting to the light and winning the race. You know, that's just the funny car ranks. Getting yeah. the parachutes out at the other end, and the smell of nitro, the, the, the flames and smoke belching out of the pipes. I mean, it's P.T. Barnum. It's the greatest show on earth. And I'm going to come back and win 17. That's my goal or I wouldn't be here. When I quit dreaming about winning races or winning championships, uh, uh, then there's no reason to do the job. It's just, but driving the car is the easy part. You know what I mean? And I'm no spring chicken, but you know, I, I live in the gym. I, 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 it may not look it. I got my weight down. Uh, I take my vitamins. Uh, you know, I keep my brain sharp and I can drive that car on the reaction tree. But this is what I do. This is my hobby. I don't know how to golf. Uh, I don't know how to fish. I love watching it all. But uh, I'm a drag racer, and it's all I've ever done. You're a drag racer. It's all you've ever done. You mentioned things that are keeping you good now. What has made you so good over the years? I grew up, this sounds corny, I grew up in a little trailer house in a little town, Bell Gardens, uh, with five brothers and sisters. My dad was a truck driver. I drove truck early when I was first out of high school, when I was starting to race. And my mother was a cook. I cooked at Denny's, Foster Freeze, everywhere but McDonald's. The minute you could get out of that trailer house, you wanted to get away as far as you could, whether it was on a motorcycle or it was on a, uh, you know, in your first car, my first car was a 54 Chevrolet. At the end of the day, racing was all I ever did in the beginning to have freedom, get in my car, turn on Elvis or the Beast Boys, or Willie Nelson, I got everything. Why, why would I want to quit or get sidetracked? So I live it seven days a week. And that's what I love to do. And, um, and I'm really good at it. And uh, I never really say that I'm kind of corny, but I really love doing it. Do you ever think about what we described, what you want your legacy to be? Um, I'm just into what I do. It, you know, if I could go out of this with my family loving me and they do, and my employees loving me, uh, you know, most of them, uh, sometimes it gets tough over the years, but uh, I try to be a good boss. I'm, I'm a great race car driver. Uh, you know, uh, people still wonder why I do it because I love it and I'm good at it. But, but at the end of the day, I want to be loved by the fans because they're the ones that got me here. I'm just me, John Force. I, I, I love what I do and I'm going to keep doing it. And when you want to start believing that you're something special, you ain't. You're just another person. I surrounded myself with great sponsors and, and great employees that make me look good. And my other drivers look good. So, nope, I know they kind of keep trying to put me on a pedestal. I don't want to get there. I'll, maybe in the very end when I'm done, I'll sit here and say, okay, thank you. And that was me. But right now, I just, I'm not trying to bull jive here or try to be humble. I just want to be real.